Jeanette here again with another must-have woman's product. I'm back with Leora Israel, the Otter Potter, and this time we're talking about a mug that she makes, which has got a cat symbol on it. It's a sold-out product. Seems like lots of people are into cats, and I, I think women particularly like cats. So, Leora, what do you think attracts women to cats and think, uh, symbols of cats, mugs with cats and other items with I think it really is a sign of strength and femininity. It's really just, obviously they're adorable, cats are loving, but they're also strong and independent, just like women. That's true. So if you have a couple of girlfriends in your life, and or maybe your child's teacher, and you just don't know the ideal gift to give for Christmas, doesn't have to be for Christmas, because there's other times throughout the year where gifts are needed, birthdays, Valentine's Day, what have you, this would make a good gift. It's a perfect gift for a cat lover or just someone who loves women and loves empowerment. Yeah. Right, so even if you're like in a girls club or you know, your girlfriends or maybe even your mom or you know, you just wanna give somebody in your life, a woman in another woman in your life, a little extra oomph a little, and something they can hold on to every single day when they have their coffee or their tea or their cocoa, this would be a great thing. For sure, and the thing I love about mugs is that you get to have, take this to your workplace, put it on your desk, and it's a little piece of art that you take with you. If you buy a painting, a handmade painting, you're not gonna see it every day, you're not gonna drink out of it every day. But this, you get to have a little bit of creativity, a little bit of art every single day when you drink your coffee. And since it has a cat on, it could also make you feel good every day. Now, you said it's made from pottery, correct? Yes, this is ceramic. Ceramic. So uh, is it dishwasher safe? I wouldn't recommend putting this in the dishwasher because of the gold detail. I put actual gold on this piece, and if it bangs into something else, it might, uh, it might chip or some, something like that. So I recommend hand washing anything with gold on it just to keep it a little bit more protected. Okay, and a light mild soap? Yeah, I mean, you don't want to use Clorox bleach on it. <laughs> Obviously not. Well, you know why I say that? Because sometimes mugs get coffee stains or tea stains. And I've known women that have cleaned their, you know, porcelain china mugs with soap pads, for example. So that could really kill this, right? Well, as long as you don't touch the uh, outer gold, as long as you're just keeping it to the inside, which is this stuff is like oven safe. This stuff is really hardy, the clay that I use. So as long as you're only scrubbing in the inside, you'll be fine. It's just, I wouldn't recommend scrubbing with harsh chemicals on the gold, because the gold is what you want to keep nice and delicate and perfect. And what, what, what is uh, the price point on this? I sell these for $40. Okay, great. And if we would like to know more about how to purchase this product or any of the other products that you make, where can we find you? Go to theotterpotter.com. And you also are available in some stores across the GTA and maybe Canada with a little, little bit of luck in the new year. Yes, for sure. I'm in quite a few stores around the city. Okay, so and it's just by your brand name, we would the know you. The Otter Potter, yeah. Okay, thank you. Thanks for being with us. Uh, look below the links to learn more about Leora Israel's products. And if you'd also like to learn a little bit more about Jeanette Time Every Woman TV, and our spin-off must-have product uh, playlist, Jeanette recommends. You can also find out more in the links below.